Hello everybody, uh, welcome uh, at another video uh, about the machine MK3 controller from Native Instruments. Um, so my dog is snoring really hard. <laughs> Sorry for that. But uh, never wake a sleeping dog, they say. So anyway, uh, welcome at this range of tutorials, um, videos, tutorials, whatever you want to name it, um, of the machine MK3 controller. Um, like I said before, um, I'm going to start at the beginning. That's what we've done. Uh, the first video was about uh, the interface. And uh, I explained that, you know, what's what. Um, in big lines then, you know, not in detail yet. Because we're going to do it step by step. So you can uh, have good understanding about everything. Uh, there was a bit of a delay uh, between the, the, t the first videos um, of this controller and this video. Uh, sorry for that. Uh, I can't change that unfortunately. But uh, I do know that um, from now on the next videos will be in a, in a faster pace. Because, um, yeah. Sorry for that delay. I can't help that. Um, shit happens, you know. Anyway, so uh, yeah, we, d we already discussed the, um, the interface. So that dog is snoring, that's he's crazy. <laughs> Damn. Uh, anyway, so yes, uh, we did the interface. What we're gonna do now, um, because I think that's the most logical step, is the browser. And you know, yeah, uh, the browser is pretty uh, simple, I would, I think. Uh, most people will understand it. Um, but there are a few ways to use it, and I feel that um, yeah, I must make a video about it um, because I don't want to skip any steps. And um, like I said, because there are a few different ways to to uh, to control it, um, it's worth uh, making a video about. So anyway, let's start. Enough rambling for me. So obviously, um, with this. You select all the instrument effects, samples, uh, groups, projects, uh, etc. So we're going to start by controlling it with uh, with small knobs. <coughs> it's not my favorite because it works a bit slow. But anyway, we're going to do that. So we're going to select just machine right now. We're in samples, machine. You know, we got the touch sen sensitive knobs. If I hold it, uh, if I touch it, you're going to see the different banks. We're going to leave that as it is. Then we got your types. What kind of type I want? I want a, a drum. I don't want loops or one shot. No, I want a drum because I want a clap. Just for not a kick, not a question, not whatever. Just gonna grab the first one, the clap. <coughs> then we're gonna go come to the next step. You know, do I want an acoustic and analog? You know, that would be this one then. Uh, we go you want an acoustic, analog, digital, snap or vinyl sound. I want a vinyl sound. So uh, I got the pre here on, you know, over here, shift, then you can select pre here. That way you can just browse through everything and hear the samples, the sounds without having to load them every time. That saves uh, a lot of time. <coughs> <coughs> so um, what was I uh, what what did I want to say? Yeah, oh yeah, there's one thing I don't like about the pre here. Let's say I load this one because I like that. It's loaded. Let's say now I want to go to the next pad. You now and just grab uh, yeah, a symbol in this case because it's the first one showing. Not possible. I need to undo the pre here. And then I can select the net next pad and load it. Then I need to turn the pre back on. Oh wait, I am messing up a bit, sorry. So you know, you load it. I got the pre on again. I load it. If I want to select the next pad, that's not possible. I need to undo the pre then I can select the next pad, uh, the next pad. Then I need to turn Prier back on to be able to Prier them. That's really stupid. I don't know why this is. It's been it's been like this from the beginning, and it must be really hard to develop that. I don't understand, but yeah, who am I? 
maybe it's not even possible i doubt it but um, for some reason it's always been like this and i'm afraid it always stay like this and i hate it because it it could be a lot faster to just be able uh, to select another pet while you're in pre here but yeah not possible uh, another thing is um, what if I like a sound, I want to set it as my favorite, hold down shift, set as favorite, let's do a bunch of them real quick. And then when you click on that star you see all your favorite list. And to undo them, hit shift and press set, set star again and now they are gone. See, gone. So that's that. Um, let's go out of this. Oops. Uh, now we're gonna show the other way. And oh yeah, with these little arrows, you can go faster through them, so you won't have to. Oops. So you won't have to go through them all by one. You can just go fast through them. Um, so anyway, now we're controlling with the big map, and I prefer this way because it just is faster because you can do everything with one hand, with one, um, yeah, with one position. Else you need to this knob, this knob, this knob, this knob. Now you just turn to the right. No wait, we're gonna select machine again. You click to the right, then you got your banks again. You come to the drums. You now you start with all types. And select drums, loops, or one shots. We're gonna select the drums again. And now you see you don't see it in here, but you see it every time below here. So you see all your sorry, that's because I touched that touch sensitive knob. So as you see now here you got all subtypes again, so you turn the knob and you get to see all the different drums like the snare, the the kick, the whatever, the clap gonna choose the clap again and then we click it to the right again and then we got another sub and those are you know the acoustic sound analog sound etc same as with these knobs only now we don't see it over here we see it in here uh, below here and um, you can do everything with one single hand and one movement so that's more convenient in my opinion um, so yeah, that's basically uh, what I wanted to show you. Um, yeah, there's one thing um, that no, I already made one thing. There was a thing with the prayer that I don't like. And there's another thing I don't like. Um, for some reason, uh, things keep on uh, disappearing ever every, every er, after every update. Uh, I don't know, um, or it's a bug, or uh, or native in native instruments does this on purpose. I hope they don't do this on purpose because. It messes up my workflow and I don't like it. And what I mean is, um, before, like now, oh, whoops, go to the results. You know, I if you look at the small screen that I uh, placed on the right corner, you see in the browser, um, yeah, well, you also see it on the big screen. <laughs> what am I talking about? Anyway, um, on the, why, I, why I was talking about the big screen or the small screen in this case um, is because you see a whole list of, uh, of snaps and before we could just turn this one the big knob up and down and you would scroll uh, you would skip let's say 10 I think it was like 10 samples or something like 10 sounds so if you have a long list like this you know all the snaps it would be convenient if you already knew like I want to go uh, I want to have this one or that one and you just get real fast through it but now they changed it and the only thing that <laughs> that you can skip through is uh, these on the left screen and that's with all with, with instruments also but it's never anymore in the in the browser uh, in the real in the results you know what I mean so um, that's really weird and I don't know if it's a bug. I hope it's a bug and I hope they're gonna fix it. Because if they did it on purpose, it makes no sense, in my opinion. I don't know how, how, how others feel about it, but 
I just think it's silly that if you have something and it works good, why would you why would you uh, delete it? Why would you remove it? Makes no sense. So my dog, oh, he's having good dreams, I think. Anyway, so that's what I want to discuss. Uh, I wanted to show you uh, in this video uh, the browser. So now we've done that. Um, so um, yes, uh, on to the next video, I think. Huh? Uh, I want to thank you uh, for uh, for watching. Also, thank you for all the nice comments in my uh, in that first video um, about uh, the interface. I appreciate that. And again, sorry for the delay between that video and this video, but um, yeah, it won't happen again. That's a fact. So um, yeah, if you liked it, uh, hit the like button if you want. Um, I, I would appreciate that. And um, don't forget to subscribe to keep up. All right. Um, thank you for watching and. Um, have a great day. Peace.